Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to User1 Productions. My name is David. In today's quick Unity tutorial, we're going to be looking at a little note system. What this is going to be is throughout the game you might have little notes you want to hint towards the player what to do next. So when the player finds a note, they walk over to it and then they can read it. And then whether it was helpful information or just random rambling that you can find, the player can interpret that any way that they want. As always my friends, everything you can find in this video, scripts, models, sound effects, textures, it'll be all linked on a Google Drive in the description for a free download. Also, if you guys have found this video entertaining or helpful in any sort of way, remember to drop me a like, subscribe if you're new, and click that notification bell so you don't miss another upload by me. And also, leave in the comments what you want to see come from this series, as well as any other questions or concerns you may have. With all that being said, let's dive into Unity, show you the finished product, and then we can go into the quick little tutorial. So here we are inside the test scene that we have been slowly developing. And over here, if you guys have been following the series, we have this keypad. And right off the bat, the character will not know what the passcode is to it, okay? So what I've gone ahead and done is throughout this level, I've hidden a little note that they can find. I actually hit it all the way up here on top of this ladder. So if we go up here, and this is little box in the ground, which you can obviously change the texture to a paper. If I look at it, it's going to say read note. And if I press E, it's a little note. And it says one, two, three, four, five. I can press exit and put it back down. Now when I walk over to this keypad, I can type one, two, three, four, five. And then we know the passcode to that door. This is super easy to accomplish, so I'm going to show you how I went about doing it. Inside the FPS controller, I have all these empty game objects. I'm going to right click and add a new one, and I'm just going to call it notes for now. Inside the notes, I'm going to go UI, and I'm going to add a raw image. Once you add the raw image, you are going to get a little box. I just changed the texture to this piece of paper, which again, you can find this texture linked in the description down below. I then scaled it accordingly to how big I want it to be on my screen. I've also renamed that little UI component, the canvas, to keypad code, so that way I know which note this is going to be. Inside the note, we're going to right click again, go UI, and we're going to add a text. I changed the text to 12345 because I want the player to know that that is the code, and then they can use that information to do whatever they need to do throughout the game. For the final piece, I'm going to right click that canvas again, go UI, and we're going to add a button this time. After scaling it accordingly, I add it to the top right here, and that's going to be the exit button, how we get out of the note. That's about it for setting it up on our screen. I'm going to take that keypad code that I renamed, and I'm going to uncheck it so we don't see it anymore. And then inside of our scene somewhere, we need to create this little object here. Well, all I did was as I took a cube, and then I scaled it down accordingly to how I want it to look in the game. Just like that, okay? I renamed it to paper code, and I made sure its box collider is checked under is trigger. Again, from the description down below, you can find a script called read notes. Let's open that up real quick so we can go over it. We have a couple things we could play around with with this public class. We have a public game object for our player, a public game object for the note UI, public game object, which is going to be the HUD, and one for the inventory. We also have another public game object, which is going to appear when we pick up the text, an audio source so we can play a sound when we pick something up, and a bool to tell if we are in reach or not. If you are not familiar with the in reach tool that we have been creating, I highly advise you guys to go watch the first door tutorial because we go over the in reach and I use it in almost every single video I have created. Going down to the start function, I have note UI to false, the HUD and inventory set to true, the pickup text set to false as well as in reach. Right here on our trigger enter, we have if our reach tool becomes in contact with the game object, our bool in reach becomes true and then the pickup text gets activated. On the flip side, on our on trigger exit is the complete opposite of the on trigger enter. We have a void update right here. So if we press down our interact button while we are in reach, the note UI gets activated. That's that paper we created with one, two, three, four, five on it. It plays a little sound effect. Our HUD and inventory both get disabled, as well as the script that controls our player gets turned to false. So that way we can't move around or accidentally lock our cursor while we are in the note. That is also why I have cursor visible to true. Just in case you were to be opening a book and you had a button to go to the next or previous page, if you press down on those buttons, the cursor would get locked again. So by having these three lines of code here, ensure we don't relock the cursor. Alrighty, going down here, we have a public void exit button. This is what the exit button is going to be doing. So when we press it down, it's going to be doing this functionality right here. 
So upon pressing the exit button, our note UI becomes false, the HUD and inventory get turned back on, as well as the player controller can now move and it relocks the cursor. Super easy to accomplish, super easy script. So let's go back in the Unity and continue the tutorial. Inside the editor, that box we created for the pickup of the page, we're gonna add that script to it and assign our player here. The note UI, which we just created, which I have renamed to keypad code, that's gonna go in note UI. The HUD and inventory right here are going to be the two categories we've been creating. So my HUD, if we look down here at the game, is going to be all this stuff here that you can see flashing on and off. So when we're reading a note, it gets turned off so it doesn't have clutter on the screen. And then the inventory is just another placeholder that holds all my weapons. So that way you don't have a weapon out when you are reading the note. Just helps the game look a little bit cleaner. Once those two are assigned, you can add a pickup note text. What I have done there is inside of our HUD, inside text, I duplicated this one that says open door, renamed it to pickup note, the main text in it says read note and inside that we have another little text object that just has our interact button so the player knows what to press. We assign it into the read note script right here. Now we just need a little pickup sound so what I'm going to do is add component, audio source and then in audio clip just make sure you have it assigned to something. I'm using this button press sound effect as a placeholder so I can test it out and because your pickup sound effect might be different than mine. If you're picking up a page, it might make a little sound effect of the page being picked up. But for testing reasons, I just assigned a random sound effect. Now what we want to do, that audio source component, we're going to click and drag that right into place of the pickup sound. We can collapse that then because we no longer need it. The final piece to this whole puzzle is creating that little exit button. So if we go back to notes, let's uh, look at it real quick. That button we created that says exit, if we scroll down into the button component here, you'll see that you can add a on click. It's gonna have an empty little box right here. We're gonna click and drag the paper note into there. That is the box that the player is going to look at that is holding the read note script right here, okay? So you're gonna click and drag that into its button right here. And then inside button, we're gonna go read note, exit button. So that way it plays this function here that we wrote. Alrighty, so now if we go ahead and play the game, we can go, oh, did you guys hear that? The sound effect from this audio source just played. That is because inside of it, we want to make sure play on wake is checked off. Okay, that was my mistake, but we have fixed it. And now when we start the game, we no longer hear it. So if we walk back over to that page that I put all the way up here, we can go ahead and pick it up. We'll hear our sound effect and our texture should pop up on the screen. Just like that, perfect. And then we can put it back down. We can pick it back up. Exit again, we can do whatever we want with it. It can be placed anywhere in your scene and say whatever you need it to say. That's just about it for today's tutorial, you guys. I hope you all have enjoyed. It's a quick and easy little system, but it'll help add more life to your scene so that way players can interact with more objects around them. And also this can be used almost like a hint system. With that, my friends, if you have enjoyed today's tutorial, remember to drop me a like, subscribe if you're new and click that notification bell so you don't miss another upload by me. Everything is linked in the description for a free download. And this is User1 Productions signing off for now. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.